Hi guys, welcome back to another Little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the web store He-Man cartoon collection. So here he is, he's coming in this little blue little blister pack with the uh, the castle like type of vision where it was where He-Man was raising up his sword type of stuff. You've got the cartoon sticker logo on the bottom there. Round the back you have got the car dart and here he is there with his little statue you've got Teela and I uh, can't think of this one's name it's not Catcher is it? Can't, I can't think of that name drop that name in the comments for us guys so with this one hasn't even come out yet in the collection so are we gonna get this character who knows You've got the little cross cells on the side there and all the other characters that came out with that wave. So I have ordered Clawful and Spyco, but they're not going to be released until later on this year. So let's crack this one open. We'll do a little comparison as well with the actual Origins release. And uh, let's have a little closer look. So here he is, getting him out of the actual box. He's really got that, uh, I call it like that dumbass type of look with web store there. Proper like stupid type of character. He's all in that jet blue and his, his actual armour and stuff, it's all like a uh, flat. So there is no actual... Uh, bumps and stuff like other releases his actual pack at the back that he comes with it's on this like little twisty knobbly so let's say you can just pull his little actually that's quite long so quite a long cord and he's got this little twisty little bit fiddly so, and it does take a good few twists for it all to retract in as well. So, articulation wise, his head will bobble up and down, his arms will splay out, they also do the 360. Ball joint on the elbow, twist and ball joint on the wrist. Twist at the waist, legs splay out back and forth, ball joint knee, twist at the boot cuff, and a ball joint and twist at the actual ankle as well. So, with Web Store, he comes with this little comic book, but with this being the EU version, it doesn't have the actual uh, title of the comic. And none of the actual speech bubbles are in the comic itself either. So it's all the usual stuff that we have seen with the Origins type of figures. I am loving this actual release with the cartoon collection though. So I know we've got all the origins that takes us right back to the 80s. But now we're actually getting a true reflection of what the characters were within the cartoon. I'll just go get the web store origins and do a little comparison. So straight away you can see the difference with the face mould. On the origin, he's just got that like red BDI. Not only has he got his fangs coming from his bottom jaw, he's got them on it from his top jaw as well. Where the cartoon collection, they've actually put the pupils, the little black pupils, in his eye as well. You've got the the little bumps and the little ridges more prominent coming from his head. And then the armour is a lot more thinner, a lot more smaller. And it's more of a purple where this is like a, maybe a navy to black as well. And there's a lot more detail though on the origins. But the biggest difference is this backpack 
on his back. So the cartoon collection one is a hell of a lot smaller. Even down to the grappling hook, it's a lot smaller. And obviously the different colour, but the style of it from the Origins as well. Complete difference. And where this is a pull up, pull down, like I say with the cartoon collection, it's a pull up, but there's just that little twiddly thing to retract it all back in. So I'll just show you the length of the actual cord. So from the cartoon collection, I've just got a hook up from the ceiling there. So that's quite, quite long, but the actual Origins one. So it's a little bit longer on the actual Origins corded grappling hook. But still a pretty good length. So the cartoon collection did come with this statue, like of a panther type of thing, accessory. Doesn't really do much, there's no articulation in it. It is just a little statue. But it does have that reminiscence, uh, especially with the stance of Battle Cat and Panther going back for the 80s type of collection as well. So there you go guys, there is the Cartoon Collection web store. So let me know your thoughts on this, drop them in the comments. This also has just come through, which is the another re-release of the Ghostbusters Muncher. So the Muncher is, let me just read this at the back, a little blue ghost with the taste for with a taste of anything metallic, Muncher loves making mischief. So you've got him there. So he comes with whatever this thing is in his garb. Um, he is from the actual Fright Features collection as well. So, but I thought I might as well just go through this one while. We are doing Webstone. Let me know your thoughts on this as well. So he's a funky little guy. He's got, he hasn't got that much articulation. Just as arms here. Uh, they go up and down. But as you pull them up and down. This. Pops up. Out of his mouth. Like so. So just like a big big ball of crap really. <laughs> um it's got let's see, what's it actually got in it? So I think there's like necklaces in there. There is a number plate from a car. It's literally just a big ball of junk. Now, his other, two, his other two arms are fixed into the side of his chest and his legs are just fixed all in one mould. But he does have a soft, like, belly and there's a couple of things in his belly as well. So he's got two buttons on the back. And let's see, so if we push one, you can see like the stop sign coming out there. So you can see pushing, pushing out a bit. And then on the other one, it's got a fire hydrant popping out of that one. So and you can push them both in together. So they're like just two little push buttons around the back there. So proper little funky colour though, with it being more of like that aqua type of blue. And he's got those little beady kind of luminous green eyes going on as well. I don't know why they've painted that just all brown. I mean, it just, it doesn't look like junk considering he eats metal. That just looks like one big lump of turd, basically. <laughs> 
So I'm going to leave you with them. So it's the Cartoon Collection web store. And Muncher as well from Ghostbusters Fright Features. So let me know your thoughts on them. Drop those comments in the box. While you're there, do the usual with the like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one again, guys. And I will catch you on the next. Take care.